What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Dale, man. We back in the show. We cooking up another banger, man. Today we got my boy NBA Young Boy, and this is an interview. Young Boy don't do too many interviews, and this is a Billboard interview. So what we gonna do? We gonna sit back. We gonna click that like button, and we gonna chill and we gonna vibe out. But if you new to the channel, just for the likes. Sit back and you gonna enjoy yourself, man. So let's see what my boy Young Boy talking about, man. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, alright, you did it. Nothing's wrong with you. Turn it You're down. okay to walk this earth. You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. Shit. I'm boy, it's all like city. Of liking music, like the love for it. But it's like it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things flow out of my mouth. I feel relieved. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 <laughs> all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my Hey, that's somebody being woke. That's somebody being woke, bro. He realized everything he was talking about in these songs and doing that he was influencing the younger generation. Because you know, young boy, young boy got a coat. Not himself, but young boy fan base is probably the most strongest fan base ever. Up there with Michael Jackson fan base. And he woke up, he's like, damn, bro, I'm not really bettering them, bro. What can I do to better my fans and better their life? That's crazy. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten in the car? Or put this shit in their ears and actually went hurt someone. And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day. But I promise to clean whatever I can clean. But it's going to take time. 10 billion times. <laughs> I actually want to get rid of all of these cars. I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I can double back and purchase some of these while I can have my fun. My man said he's gonna get rid of all them cars. My niggas got my, my nigga got McLaren, Hellcat, Maybach truck. Come on, bro. That's when you know a nigga getting way too much money. He's like, man, I gotta get rid of these cars, bro. But I get it. That's like you, that's like you've been saving up for your brand new car that you want on your wish list. You got it on your screen saver. You put it on your billboard. Then you finally get the car. Then it die down. Like I don't want it no more. I want something else. Maybe it's like that. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars until I do get a little freedom where I could double back and purchase some of these while I could have my fun. <laughs> That's my accountant, Miss Quintina, making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs me to be human, when he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Well, my grandmother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. 
this is my angel. My protector. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he loved people. Like if he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> One of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he like you. He like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural, like just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. Pretty much. I'm terrified of people. <laughs> Bro, you gotta think about it. when you say he ter terrified of people. You don't know what nobody's up to. You don't know if they want to do good or bad. That's like me walking in the mall and somebody like, hey, hey, that fan. I don't know what the fuck he want to do. He want to punch me, attack me, try to rob me, steal from me. I don't know what he want to do. I don't know him, but he know me. That's crazy. You gotta think about it. A fan can know where you stay at, where you live at, what picture you like, where address you at, your family members, and you don't know nothing about these people. Like these people are complete strangers, but they know everything about you. I'd be terrified too. Random motherfuckers coming up to me asking for pictures, but in the back of that, yeah, I see what happened to Steny. Um, if y'all know, y'all know what's his what was his name? He was like a up and coming rapper in um, New York, Stinny, Stinny, Stinny from the nine. Nigga asked for a picture and bucked off on him. Boop, 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 boop. You never know what's gonna happen. Brother. <laughs> I'm not famous. I don't think about it. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. I am very scared of people. Like, on my kids. I am terrified of people. And I am very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I am terrified of people. People are cruel. <laughs> For real. It's like, we can't control ourselves. See, you gotta think about it. It's some mean ass people out here, bro. It is, bro. It is some cruel, mean people out here, bro. You can do nothing to them. They will talk about you, try to assault you, rob you, kill you, belittle you for no reason. For no reason. I cannot talk to this dude a day in his life, but he could be like, I don't like that nigga right there. I'm like, you don't like me? I talk to you, I did nothing to you. Like, these people crazy out here, bro. People are cruel. It's like, we can't control ourselves. Nope. So you never know what someone will do you. always you know knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and i uh, was impressed with what he achieved being from where we're from and i mean they they are some of the hardest working people in the music business i think his legacy will be himself he's not going to be compared to anybody he's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic i always want to don't nobody work hard a young boy. Oh, get off his job. Bruh. This man literally, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. This man sold you on Instagram Live one day. Let me see if I can get it. Hold on. This man sold you on Instagram Live. You feel this is like two terabytes, right? He sold you five of these. Full of music. Five of these. This is two terabytes. You know how much they hold? A lot. He sold you five of these. 
Come on, niggas probably got one, couple songs on their phone. He sold you five of these. Come on, now. Rappers ain't got five, t five terabytes of nothing nowadays, bro. Some of them, some do, some don't. But that nigga young boy got the stats. To be a rapper. <laughs> this was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. You can't be on top forever. You know? There's always to be another artist. But there'll never be another young boy. Nope. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken, and I'm not going back to where I used to be. Did you hear that? I will not be provoked, and I will not be broken. Mm. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only will get more groovy from here. <laughs> This nigga said groovy. That I walk out this door, it's gonna be a whole lot of doing. That's crazy. That was cool, man. Honestly, the truth, you really don't see how young boy talk. Young boy talk. It's kind of different, man. Like, he ain't used to talking. Which I'm the same way. I'm shy. I don't like a lot of people. I feel what is it, like a zaddy around a bunch of people I don't know. I'm shy too. But I understand. You say I'm terrified of people. Famous people, bro. That ain't all. It ain't all glitz and glamour. Everybody know you, but you know nobody. Basically, being famous is like everybody got a steam ass on. Everybody know you, but you don't know them. Good, bad, pure. You don't know if he coming up to take this picture with you. You don't know if he gonna steal your wallet in the process. Steal off on you. Steal some information. Talk bad on you. Do you bad. You don't know nothing. But I like what he was talking about. He said, I woke up. Man. He said, I, man, I listen. He was like, what I'm doing to the youth? My following, bro. I was leading them down the wrong path. Where's a... Yeah, I know the first when young boy first came out. Come on, man! Bang, bang, shoot him up, up, nigga, drive by, hit him, all that. What's there nothing wrong with? Cause there's a couple turned up songs I like. But now, I nigga say you finna get groovy, so you know what that mean rock star mode. So look, nice little interview. We really don't get to see young boy personality. We really don't. You gotta think about it. I don't even think it's like Michael Jackson. Young boy didn't really get to be a kid. 16? Touching M's? Nigga didn't really get to be a kid. So look, what we need to do for this video, man, little interview, click that like button, comment down below, three subscribe to the family, they be working, we consistent as ever. Look, I'm going to see y'all in the next video, man. I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. I'll see y'all in the next.